Guys, welcome back to RB Reptiles. We're going to show you some new pickups we got, and which is actually one of them is a new project. So stay tuned. All right, guys, just real quick before we jump into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Bane of My Exotics. They sent us some shirts, and it's pretty awesome. We appreciate that. Got the cool logo on the back. Mm -hmm. And I can show you. Yeah, I'm wearing my Osman Reptiles shirt. Mike Osman. Mike, yeah. Good guy. Yeah, he has a bunch of cool stuff. You gotta check him out. So, jumping into the first things we got here, we got a couple uh, a breeder size adult females from, from uh, Steve Winkler. And this. Here is a black pastel lace female. Like I said already, she's a runner. Very cool. We like the lace project. Mm-hmm. She's pretty. And the other one we got mm -hmm. is this lace het clown female. It's huge. Who is ready to go and we gotta decide what we're gonna do about it because what do we do we put a visual clown to it or do we put the white lace posse clown male well has he we haven't produced eggs from him yet we haven't produced eggs from him yet so we still he's not proven he's not proven so we're not gonna know ahead of time i don't think right we may but then we can make white lace het clowns 50 percent het clowns well, I guess fifty percent, or possibly that. Possible, we could hit a white lace clown. Clown, right? Yeah. It's like also possible, we could put something that we know is clown. Is clown <laughs> like that leopard pastel spot nose yellow belly male? That's true. Or we could put a visual. It's true. And get pastel leopard lace clowns. It's true. So we got some decisions to make on this. Mm-hmm. So do you want to tell us what do you uh, what are you looking at here for to say it's lace? Because this is like a I mean it's a little better looking than a single gene lace because it has the head clown, but you can see that it has a blushed out head. It's mm -hmm. super light color. It's got this popcorning on the belly. Also some blushing coming up. All the interior of the alien heads are lined with white. Mm-hmm. And that's how you would pick out a lace, pretty much. We also have, I guess I could show you the super. Real quick. This right here is the super form. Which is ridiculous. Just, this is only a white lace possible head clown. So, like, kind of desert ghostish, has that speckling, popcorning on the belly, lots of blushing. It's a cool project. Yeah, man. So we're excited to be picking up these guys, girls. Whoop, whoop. So also, you know, we we uh, dipped a toe into the monsoon project, and uh, our buddy up north, uh, Dom, with Rizzo's reptiles or morphed out morphs by design. Is that right? Morphs by design. I thought that was no, Cheryl. not morphs by design. No, it's uh, it's somebody. Either way, his name is Dom. Serpents by design. Serpents by design. He has uh, been producing a bunch of poshet monsoon stuff this year, so we picked up. A couple females and also a backup male and the cool thing about the monsoon hats is they're sort of visual in that you can it really screws up the pattern you get a lot of like circling on the back you get a lot of like the alien heads that cross over like you can see on all these these are mojave pastel fire combos but uh a lot of the dotting on the back it's also something that I noticed is that the outlines of everything is darker than it should be. Mm -hmm. So 
you get all these crazy dark outlines. So we got two females and a male here, and also we have this 100% het male we picked up from Justin. That's a while back, yeah. Super Mojave, pastel, possible calico, 100% het monsoon. Possible visual monsoon. Possible visual monsoon, which would be cool to see if that's true. Yeah, man. So yeah, we're really getting into the monsoon stuff. Obviously, we got a ways to go. We'll use this guy next year to make some hets of our own. Uh, Female-wise, we're gonna be waiting. So no visuals uh, till 2022, but mm -hmm. we're gonna make some cool hats along the way and hopefully share some with you. Yeah, sir. So this next one is a project we picked up. It's a it's a new little thing that we're gonna we're gonna play with. It's a Dinker project. Ryan's making me talk about it because I wanted it and I picked it up. It's from a friend of ours. His name is Sam Craver, and uh, he has a couple animals for sale, but. This guy, and this is a boy, um, he wouldn't sell us a female. So they had every animal in the, or not every animal, but all the animals had a specific couple features in them. One of them being on the side of the face, the you can see the black little stripe that comes down the lip, like the side of the jaw that outlines the side of the jaw there. Um, there's, it kind of, so, Obviously, this is a bit dark. There's these dorsal pattern that is a little bit messed up. Um, there's also stuff going on on the, the belly. I'll show you that. Look at this, how dirty and crazy this belly is. Definitely right. a lot of checkering. Yeah, so all of them had all these things. Like, not all of the babies, but all the ones that seem to have this uh, thing. So we think it's genetic um, since there's multiple animals that had this. Uh, we sent stuff to Justin and he said, nah, I don't know, maybe, I mean, he says it's definitely something going on there, but he doesn't know. It reminds me of the Mario stuff, um, what I'm looking at. So, uh, maybe it's something new. The One of the parents came from Outback, it was an import. Um, Sam got it, uh, I guess, second or third hand, that animal. So, I think it's something genetic, I think it's something fun. We gotta get into a couple of these, like, oddball projects. And I don't care if Ryan makes fun of me. Um, I said, you know, I'll pay I'll pay a couple hundred bucks for a normal male baby. <laughs> but uh, I think something's going on there, you know. So I think uh, I think it's worth it. I think we're gonna have fun with this project. And uh, the only problem is I gotta find out what females I can talk Ryan out of uh, so that they'll let me breed them to some shop. Yeah. Um, it's also a possible het clown, so. Got that going for it. Got that going for it. I mean, I should probably put it to some big clown female we have. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should see Ryan's face on the other side of the camera. Um, so but yeah. Steve Wilkar has some breeder female clowns he'd like to sell you. Yeah, I know. I know it. Um, anyway, so this is a fun little project, I think, and uh, we're going to have to update you guys when he gets a little bit bigger and see what happens. So, hey man, Dinker Projects, you guys got to show us yours. Comment down below if you uh, have a Dinker Project and tell us a little bit about it. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button if you like this video so far, and give us a little subscribe. Don't forget to watch Herp House Rock. It's our podcast channel. Having a lot of good stuff on over there. All right, so let's see what else is we got going on. All right, guys. So I'm just finishing this video up, and I, I just want to see some of these animals. Ryan and I haven't really been able to hang out that much lately, and I'm excited. This is a pastel leopard arroyo het clown female and uh she's beautiful she's just about to size to where we can start like maybe introducing to see what happens but uh yeah het clown and beautiful i love this arroyo stuff so anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh like i said before make sure you guys hit that subscribe button let us know what's going on. But also, since we talked about dinkers, if you guys want, if you have a dinker project, shoot me a video. Like, send a video over to us. Let us know what's going on. I want to see what's going on. And uh, maybe we'll put it in one of our videos coming up. We can talk about your dinker projects. So reach out to us. You can uh, message me either on my cell phone or Facebook, Instagram, 
uh, or comment down below and get a hold of me or email and uh, we'll work out a way for you to get a video over to us. We'll put you on one of ours. All right, thanks guys so much and we'll see you later.